This neighborhood we're in right now has the highest teardown rate in Durham right now. Not only were you not allowed to uh, sell to non Caucasians. It was prohibited for you to have a non-Caucasian spend the night unless they were a household servant. In the early 1930s, the uh, White Women's Garden Club uh, decided that uh, Durham was really missing a tree county. Uh, that in order to make the uh, city more attractive uh, to people and make it more comfortable for the people who lived here, that the city should really undertake a, a massive tree planting campaign. Uh, what was interesting was that uh, the, the only place the trees were planted were in uh, well-to-do white neighborhoods, like the one in Trinity Park that we're standing in right now here on Watt Street. And you can see on this map uh, every block in the city where they planted trees like this large one right here. There were no trees planted in any of the African American neighborhoods or any of the white uh, working class neighborhoods. This is a picture of the uh, older home place which is in Durham County and uh, this is my uncle Leck, Grandpa Wade, Grandma Viola. Everyone during that time knew this is the home place. My grandmother and grandfather were sharecroppers and you know, very strong people, even though they worked hard. No tractors, all mule, but they survived and I'm one of those that uh, evolved from that. So this, you were, this, this house was right down on the, it was on the Wake County. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but my grandmama stayed with us until the day she died. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm very proud that uh, my family was chosen for this documentary. Our history was hidden for so long, but it's nice to know that um, these things have been brought forth. I think most people think that they understand these inequalities as the basis of individual effort and initiative, and that uh, the black white racial wealth gap is something that white people deserve because they worked harder, they saved better, and that uh, African Americans have less wealth because they didn't do either one of those things. But if you go back and look at the way in which whites benefited from racial covenants, they benefited from the GI Bill, they benefited from uh, the way steering uh, was done by real estate developers to steer whites into some neighborhoods, blacks into others. All these things are really important and probably are the most significant factors in, in actually explaining why these wealth gaps exist.